today I'm going to be switching out this drum brake with rotor brake. And we're going to add a caliper and switch the 10 inch to a 12 inch wheel. First remove the front plate by removing the bolt in the middle and the two screws. This is grab from the front here and pull it down. Remove your cluster here by pulling out this whole front piece by four four screws, two on the sides, and then the two in the front of here. You can pull these out, and then the clips for it run along the edge. Like that. All right, guys. You move it like this. Here, you have to unclip the side here. That pulls off of there, and you've got two screws that you want to remove here. Okay, now that we got the front of the bike taken apart, we're going to remove this lever here and the cables. We're going to remove our speedometer cable because it's got a different one for the wheel setup, and then we'll be removing our cables here. We'll remove the wheel on the brake. Go ahead and Take off these two bolts in order to take off the lever, and there's also two wires you're going to disconnect for your brake light. And then we're going to feed the cable from the wheel all the way up here, and we're going to remove this assembly. To loosen and remove your brakes, you're going to start from here, and then loosen this, pull this cable off, and that disassembles your cable off to your drum brake. Right here on your fork, you want to disconnect where your cables attach to your fork. Once you've disconnected the brake lever, you're going to go ahead and pull that whole cable. Remove the cable. Now that you've got your speedometer cable fed out from it, we're going to disconnect the drum off the, from the wheel from the fork here. Disconnect that off of it, and then we're going to take the wheel off from that center that bolt there. New wheel on first. Then we'll put on the brake caliper, then we'll run our lines, and then we'll put the brake handle on, and then we'll piece it back together. Okay, now what I've done is I've assembled and put the new wheel on it, put the whole piece on, and put the speedometer cable on it, and you got to feed this on it, put this on, keep it from getting into your tire, and then run it up through. Now I've gone ahead and Put on the brake master cylinder. Go ahead and adjust it to how you like it, tighten it up, and uh, hook up your brake cable light. Now we're going to hook up the caliper on this side and bolted it by these two bolts here. And then once I bolted this on, I ran my line up and I connected it to this to keep it off the wheel. And then I ran my hose up through the middle and tied it to the brake assembly. Then I went ahead and I popped out this hole so I could put the brake on here. And then whenever I got, when I put the front piece on, hook your speedometer cable back up to your speedometer. Take your wires and hook them up to your wires here. And then put your assembly back together. Reassemble your front piece. Now we're going to bleed the brakes by removing these screws here. Inside of this, grab a hose and this blocks out the moisture and you want to make sure all this stays clean. And then you want to go ahead and pull in some brake fluid. And then you want to bleed your brake here. And then just place your cap back on after you bled your brakes and the wheel. Why is it stuck? 